Welcome back to Train Station Adventures, the show where we look at the map, hit the tracks, eat the snacks with the goose and gaffs, because we all about that. My name is Kay, and let's set sail on the trail. So, let's go, uh, oh, there's a big bug. That's a, that's a big fruit fly. I haven't seen a fruit fly in a while. Let's see if I still got it. Oh, I got it, I do got it. I didn't think I had it though, so I let go, but then it flew away. There was another fruit fly that I was like over here and it flew over here. So when I hit it, I thought the fly escaped, but I was just another fly. So I had it, so moral of the story, believe in yourself, my quesadillas, you do got it. So we're at Minakami Station right now. I'm gonna do another TSA starting from here. I wanna get the most of this area, it's so beautiful. I'm never in the country of Japan, so I wanna just see what's up. Let's go check out the map. Hey, quesadillas, I need you guys to open up a dice app or a dice website and roll two dice for me. Tell me what the number is. That's cool, big deal. I wish I was high too. So Deluxe got a five and a five and spades got a one and a four. Five and a five will make doubles, so it'll be 10 plus another roll. And this is gonna be a lot. These trains are like what, a lot slower, less frequent out here. And I'm filming kind of late again today. It's already afternoon, so don't wanna go pretty far. Like 10 stations plus is pretty far in this place in here, you know, so. We're gonna go with the one and a four. So that's five stations away. All right, so that is either the 510 station or the 590 station. Let's go up north this time. We went south last time, so we'll go north. I never see these storage trains like in Tokyo or Kanagawa. I never see these. In the vending machines in Gunma, I've been seeing a lot of apple juices, but they're really expensive. They're 170 yen. All these drinks, are 150, 160, 130, 110, 140. This apple juice is the most expensive thing here. It's 170. I guess this is some high quality apple juice. It's Fuji apple juice. And they have like a green version, which is Aoyama apple juice. Apples from Aoyama. And that was also 170 yen. I tried it out. That was like a green version. It was like a green apple. So let's try out this red version, Fuji. What? The train only comes one, two, three, four, five. It only comes five times a day. Maybe we shouldn't go up north. We might not be able to come back. She, um, and then to go south towards Takasaki comes like every hour. So next time it comes, it's in 20 minutes. So I gotta wait 27 minutes for the 1647, damn. I gotta do these earlier. I'm gonna try out this expensive apple juice. Tastes like a Fuji apple. I'm sensing some scrumptiousness. In the flavor. I'm feeling a nice blanket of pleasurable sensory experiences on the palate. It is most definitely quite different from other apple juices. I have tasted it in my life. Feeling very it's juicy. very relaxing way. I'm feeling a very natural sugar. Straight from the Fuji apple. It's wet and fruitful. Nice and fruity, sweet and fruity. While refreshing and comforting at the same time. Mm. Scrumptious. Delicious. Why is there a hair in it? Delicious. Or as the Spanish would say, that 
delicioso. This is quite literally the apple juice of the gods. This is Tsukada. One more station down is Shikishima from the last episode. Um, damn, I feel like way calmer. I feel like the energy, the tensions, always like up here. Here I feel like I can really just bring it down. I'm not used to it. It's just houses here. It's literally nothing. Even at like irrelevant stations, there's at least a kombini. But not in Guma, I guess. The loudest it gets is when the cars go by. Just hear a little bit of car, that's it. So, yeah. This is an even more relevant station than Shikishima. House is this? It's like this is like Orden Village. There's gotta be a place that looks exactly like Orden Village, but I'm getting that vibe here. What? This is almost too irrelevant to make a video out of. This seems just untouched. They had this in Shikishima too. There's no gate. You just, I could just walk out. There's literally no one. There's no cameras to check. I don't even have to pay. I could literally stand on this track and no one would give a f I'm gonna do it. Oh, wait, is that a camera? No, that's not a camera. I wanna step on the track just to say I've done that before. I'm gonna do it. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna touch that and then come back. <laughs> could have died just now. So if you used a ticket, you put the ticket in here. What? Oh yeah, I forgot to pay. I gotta pay. Oh shit. If you're going from like this station to Shikishima, you could definitely just do it for free because they both have these type of ticket things. But Minakami has a gate, so you gotta pay. I'm seeing here. They got a vending machine, so at least they have that. I got to take a sh shit and piss. I could probably just piss anywhere in this village and no one would see. I could probably take a shit and no one would see. I'm gonna take a shit. I'm gonna take a shit. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I could find a hiding place. Take a shit. I wanna I should do it on some grass. I need to find some leaves or toilet paper too. Oh wait, this this water works and I could just use this. Damn. Let's see if this opens up. Maybe there's a toilet in here. Oh, there's a 
kids playing over there. There's no company to take a shit in. Damn. Fuck it, I'm just gonna take a shit over here. There's a swing set right there. I'm gonna take a shit right here. I'm sorry, I gotta do it really bad. These are the best leaves, but I don't have to do. Oh shit, I touched my shit. No, my knuckles touched the shit. Oh god. Oh no. Oh man. You guys are gonna think I'm disgusting now. Definitely gotta find a sink soon. This ain't good. These are low quality leaves. I think I'm good. I'm good. I'm shot. Oh god, that's a big shit. I'm shot down. Damn. Alright, cool. I feel better. Oh, that's big. Holy, f that's gigantic. I gotta send that to the boys. Had to do it to um. Ha. Man, I feel great. Alright, so let's see what's around here. Yeah, there's some better quality leaves right here. Could have used these. No, never mind, it's kind of prickly. Actually, no, it's like fuzzy. Actually, these would work. Like the little fuzz would probably get the poo more. Let me use it. Do one more wipe, oh, just in case. I feel like an Indian. Let's go up to this park. Let's go talk to the kids. I'm not gonna touch them, don't worry. Oh, the farmer's working here. I kinda wanna talk to him, but I don't know. I get, I get a little nervous. I get nervous a lot nowadays. And what if he wants to shake my hand? I don't wanna, you know, do that to him. I could just shake him with my right hand, but you know, you guys are gonna think I'm disgusting if I shake his hand. I'm just gonna walk away. In Japan, there's a lot of rock climbing walls. That's like a common thing in Japan. I never see them in like America or anything. Let's get a drink. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. There's a toilet right here. Oh wait, never mind. That's not a toilet. Wait. There's a toilet. Wait. Damn. I literally saw a guy. Like when I came down from there, I literally saw a guy come out of here and go in the phone booth. I knew there was a toilet. I just saw the toilet there. I just... Damn. <sighs> well, I should wash my hands then. What the f is this? What the f Why is there white stuff in my milk tea? There's never been white stuff in my milk tea. The water doesn't even work. Man, oh wait. Ooh, perfect. Alright. Come on. Come on. Is that clean? 
Yeah, we're good. It looks like a tooth or something. What the f***? That's disgusting. This place is so weird. I think it's cream. Damn. I've never seen a milk tea bottle with fucked up cream though. Maybe they like hand make it out here. Tastes better. Maybe this one's extra creamy. Cream is always good. You know what I've noticed? It's kind of dirty. With how clean Japan is, I would expect the countryside to be even more clean. I don't want to say it's dirty. It's not dirty, but like... You know, it's very clean, but at the same time, like, something surprised me, like, there's an Aquarius bottle here, and there's, like, a cup here, and there's literally a trash can right there. Here, since I took a shit here, let's help out the community. Let's clean up Skada a little bit. My camera died. That sucks. But I'm glad we had a very high-quality TSA episode today. Probably the best one yet. We didn't quite do anything we're supposed to in a TSA, but at least we explored this village and got to see what Skada is all about. I saw a graveyard actually over here, and it was a statue, so let's go check that out real quick, and then I'll end the episode. this when i was up there on that staircase i saw this this is like the thing that i saw in the last tsa remember in that shrine whoa look whoa. at that doggo hi doggo hi doggo whoa <coughs> i think that's a guard doggo How do people even do stuff? How do people get stuff here? There's no grocery store or anything. What do people do here? I gotta come up with better questions. All right, so there's the graveyard. So I was expecting to take the eight something train back. I just realized, I think there's a, there's like, there's like a five something train. I'm gonna get here really soon. So I gotta hit, I gotta, I can't miss it. Or else I gotta wait till eight. So I'm gonna go right now.